Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge that many .NET Core developers encounter when working with Hangfire. Our viewer has set up Hangfire in their startup class, but is running into a frustrating issue with dependencies in HT context. Let's dive into the details of their question. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To address the issue with Hangfire and HTTP context, we first need to understand that Hangfire runs jobs in a background thread, which does not have access to the HTTP context. This is why you're encountering a null reference exception when trying to access IP principle. One solution is to avoid directly accessing HTTP context in your job. Instead, you can pass the necessary data to your job when you schedule it. This way, you can ensure that your job has all the information it needs without relying on HTTP context. For example, you can modify your daily job method to accept parameters. When you schedule the job, you can pass the required user information as an argument. Next, update your recurring job setup to include the user information. You can retrieve the user ID from the HTTP context before scheduling the job and pass it to the daily job method. Finally, ensure that your scheduled task service can handle the user ID parameter and use it to resolve the appropriate iPrincipal or service account. This way, you can maintain the necessary context for your background jobs. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. When using Hangfire in .NET Core, a common issue arises with resolving HTTP context. This is because HTTP context is not available during the startup phase when dependencies are registered. To avoid exceptions during job activation, ensure that your dependencies are not registered with a request scope. Instead, use transient or singleton lifetimes for your services. Finally, configure Hangfire in your startup class. Add the Hangfire server and dashboard and set up your recurring jobs accordingly. For more detailed guidance, refer to the Hangfire documentation and related resources. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Hangfire resolves types from the .NET Core startup class when executing scheduled tasks. It doesn't store Lambda expressions, but rather the type and method to call. To manage this, consider creating a scheduled task service. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve Hangfire dependencies in .NET Core, you can use a scope from the container. Make sure to use a using statement to avoid memory leaks.
you can resolve the job manager type within the scope. Just replace type with the actual type of job manager you need. For more details, check the AutoFact documentation on working with scopes. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.